Well, since Halloween is a theme today, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention how many spooky books there are out there. We've got Megan McCorkle of the Enoch Pratt Free Library. She says they've got scary stories for every age group. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, so let's see what you brought us. You brought well, us a whole bunch of books. Yes, we kind of do it for every single age level. There's really something for everyone. And obviously, this is a very small grouping of yes. all of the books that we have at our 22 yeah. locations at the Pratt Library. But I think you can't talk about spooky without including Stephen King. True. So right in the front we have The Institute. That's his new book. It's uh, yeah. That one is the audio book that we have here. Okay, great. Um, you know, Stephen King, I don't know if you want to hear or listen to it right before you go to sleep at it, night. You do but, not. <laughs> <laughs> but this book is about a boy who's kidnapped and he wakes up in a room that looks a whole lot like his room. And when he finally gets out the door, he realizes he's in a place called The Institute. And there's other children that also have kind of magical super powers that are in there with him. It's a very classic, like, good yeah, versus of, yeah, evil, <laughs> dark story of them trying to escape this place called the Institute. Okay. So, um, that, I'm already creeped out. I know, so I know. Go. That's. I'm not sure that that's uh, one for everyone. It's if you right. really like scary yeah, we'll stories. Yeah, we'll move on. Yes. We'll move on. I know you got a book by the author who wrote The Woman in Cabin 10. I read that book. Yes, The Woman so. in Cabin 10, Ruth Ware. That was a yes. bestseller. Um, so after I read The Woman in Cabin 10, um, I read everything by Ruth Ware. Yeah. One of my favorites was The Lion Game. Okay. So it's about four adult friends who grew up together, and they have this secret that okay. they were keeping from the time that they were children, and now they're all older, and that secret is coming out. Oh. So there's lots of twists, and there's lots of turns. So and what do you think it is about these scary stories that appeal to readers at all ages? I think they keep you guessing. They give yeah. you that kind of adrenaline. Uh, they hook you. Right. You can't stop reading them. And it's fantasy. We don't have to live that out. Exactly. We can just sort of pretend. <laughs> I know. Spooky books, the really scary ones, are not necessarily the ones that I read. I right. love those suspense thrillers. Exactly. The mysteries. Keep you on the edge of your seat a little bit. Yes, and we have a great one, um, The Woman in the Window. Yes. Uh, came out a couple of years ago, but it's actually going to be a major motion picture coming okay. up this coming year with Amy Adams. Um, and it is about a woman who uh, is a recluse. She stays in her house, but she always looks out the window at what her neighbors are doing. Mm -hmm. And she sees something some one day that she's not supposed to see. Yeah, because she's always looking out the window. Mm -hmm. that's and then the question that's when I, you yeah. have to mind your own business business people. Exactly. But then you kind of find out more stuff about her and you realize that she's maybe not the most reliable narrator. Yes. So it leaves you as the reader kind of guessing what's Got real, it. what's not real. Sort of like the woman on the train. She too yes. is a little. Exactly. It's yeah. all very And then similar. for the kids, there's something for them. For the kids, there is something. And if you go to any of our library branches, too, we always have displays yes. for the holidays. So I brought a couple. Uh, the Too Scary Story. I promise it is not too scary. Right. Uh, it will not keep anyone up past their bedtime. And Ghastly Ghosts. Um, they are really sweet, nice ending yes. uh, Halloween-type stories and for kids, kids. Kids, adults, everyone. They're reading these now, these sort of scary stories now. But they read them pretty much all year long. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would say mysteries um, and genres like that are some of our most popular that are going off the shelves. And then when we're finished being scared, the Enac Free or Enac Pratt Free Library mm -hmm. has many other options for us as well. Gosh. It is a huge season for us. So it's Halloween, and starting this weekend, uh, it is the book festival down at the harbor. Yeah. And the Enoch Pratt Free Library has operated the children's stage of the book festival. Um, and then it's Light City, right. and we will have celebrations at all the branches through all next week. So come so join us. For more information on any of these books that you saw here or all these festivals, just go to prattlibrary.org. We'll be right back right after this. Stay tuned.